I have a light here um, just to, to help me out. I recommend having a bottle cap to stick any screws that we have to take out. A set of small screwdrivers and I have some tweezers just in case a screw falls anywhere. So what you have to do first is take these screw covers. There's, they're like some plastic screw covers, almost like stickers. There's four of them on each side of the laptop. I have a pocket knife, which I'm going to do it with, but you can use your fingernail, tweezers, really anything. So let's do that. Okay, so now um, the screws are exposed. So go through your set of screwdrivers and try to find a small screwdriver that will fit. Nope, that's even smaller. Okay. Perfect. And just take these four screws out that were under the screw covers. Right, now that you got the four screws rounded off, we need to take off the screen bezel. So you kind of want to pry it off with your fingernails, but be very careful because I already actually broke a hinge from a previous repair. So just be careful while doing this. Okay, so now I got my bezel out. Um, as you can see, here's my broken hinge, but I'm gonna repair that on a different video. Right now it's the screen repair. So just stick your bezel to the side. Now you have four screws that need to be taken out um, to get the screen out. So one screw is here, 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 and here. So get again, get your small screwdriver and take them out. Now, with these four screws, what I'm going to do, instead of putting it in my little cap of screws, I'm going to lay them out in the order that they're here. So, top goes top left, goes top left, top right goes top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So, I don't mix them up. Okay, um, now that you've got the screws off the computer, you can stick, take out the LCD and lay it down on your keyboard, as done so. You want to take out this little cable here, and there's a little piece of tape there, so be very careful because you do not want to mess this stuff up. So let me... Slow So now you want to very carefully unplug it as I just did. So take the tape off, unplug it, and we can stick the old screen aside. Old screen, this one was broken. So let's take that aside, just put it down. Now let's take out our new screen. We're going to reattach it like we did before. I'm going to lay it down here. I'm going to attach this back on. You want to be very careful here. Now, if you hear a snap, snap. I'm just going to reuse the old tape. Make sure it's stuck back on there. Good. Now you we can for test the laptop. So let me just put that back on. 
have it sit there. And let's test the computer. Here's the moment of truth. And there we go. It's loading. So now you can leave it on. It doesn't really matter what you do with it. And first we're gonna we're gonna go pretty much in reverse of how we started. Okay, so now that you've tested the screen and make sure it works, take off this plastic backing. So it has two tapes on it. Just take it off. And we're gonna put the screen on kind of where it needs to go, or where it needs to go. If you tilt the screen a little back, it should stay there. Perfect. So now we're going to start screwing the, the sc four screws that hold the screen in. Let's do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, before I put the bezel on, I'm going to take off, there's actually, on top of the pla first plastic backing, this one that we took off, there's a second plastic backing. So, we're just going to go in the corner and kind of get it, there we go, and take it off, before we put the bezel on, oops. Now, I think if you wait, you can do it after you put the bezel on, but I'm just going to do it now just to make sure be positive. So, now take your bezel. Be very careful again. I'm going to take my broken hinge, just throw it back in there. There we go. Be very careful with the bezel and get it back in. There we go. Snap everything in. Again, be careful with the bezel. Okay, looks like everything snapped in. Oh, it's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw in the four screws around the bezel. There we go. Now the final step of the installation is to get these stickies, the um, screw covers, and just put them back on. There should be enough stick left for them to stay on. One done. Two. The fourth one. So that's how you install a replacement screen.